Hey guys, so this is the Xpulse uh, 2V version, both of them. So I'm gonna show you how to install the tower. So first, first thing first, what you need to do is you've got to dismantle everything, and uh, you need to be just careful with this, the fuel pump, right? The, so there are four connectors here. There's an, uh, there are two pipes that go to the tank. One is the return valve, one is the breather. Okay, there is one uh, cable here which connects to your fuel pump and this is your fuel pump pipe. So, you do not really need any modifications, you just need to open it up completely. The headlamp assembly as well. So, there is a small plastic part that comes over here. That too needs to come up, so it, it has to be see-through, right? Uh, it would be best if you take this sleeve out, but then uh, even if you, if you wish not to take it out, it's just fine. It works, right? So, another thing that you need to do first before installing the expulse is if you can see this here there's a hook here this one which holds the cables you need to just flatten it out right because your mount sorry your mount is gonna come right across it's got flat plate so this needs to be flattened out okay so it's, it's not very tough you can just take a plier and push it and just uh, flatten it another thing what you need to do is you're seeing this hole right here you need to clear that okay that hole needs to be clear so uh, let's start with the mounting process then uh, so guys after you unbox this is the content of the tower uh, make sure you install the visor to these headlamp mounts right away right after you take it out of the box right this is where your speedo goes this mount okay this is the main bracket which sits on the chassis which i'm going to show you how to install and that's your main tower so this is the first thing that we are going to fix and uh, remember uh, you will get this uh, red alone piece so first thing what you got to do is you got to put this thing right here you're going to place it right here okay got that now second thing you've already flattened this thing to flatten now this is the bracket that you have to install from the front so see this thing has to be facing upwards okay you need to also take these out for a while so your motorcycle will have two rubber bushes on the other sides for the tank support you need these things need to come off for a while right now what you do is you gently just push it in shake it here and there just push it in and it'll just it should just go and sit there right now next thing is there's an emmet bolt the emmet bolt goes right through the delon piece okay comes off here and you just keep it in place ah. now there's this one more m6 bolt that comes with the chassis mount this goes into the other smaller hole that i showed you earlier this side right there now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten the bolts so first thing we're going to tighten the emit so since we are giving you an allen bolt and a nylon lock nut it's not very easy to put the nylon lock nut so you'll probably want to use either a drill or an allen key for the emmet bolt and also a spanner 13 number to hold the nut in and you're gonna make it as tight as possible it's all strength it should not move at all and don't worry you do not have to worry about the nut coming off since it's an nylon lock nut doesn't really come off but then if you want to use washers that is also fine ah. now we go on with the 10 number wrench and the m6 bolt hold it here this too as tight as possible so the clamp it really needs to pinch the chassis make it as tight as possible so that it doesn't move okay this is your main tower clamp structure chassis it should be as tight as it should not 
move at all right now we move to the next phase now we are going to fix the main tower to the body so remember you have these three m8 bolts that comes with the main frame and now these three bolts go on to this once you are done with the clamp main clamp all you need to do is shove in few of your electricals here in this hole in this slot and you going to gently lift it and push it behind right it just goes into the slot just take care of the wires here make sure all the wire goes in there and on this side next is your m8 bolts go right through so all three of the bolts so this is your main tower support Make it as tight as possible so that it doesn't move. This is your main foundation board. And this is always best to go the manual way <laughs> for the final tightening because the battery on the drill doesn't last too long. <laughs> So now we have the main tower mounted to the motorcycle. The second step, second thing what we are going to mount is the speedometer. Before we place the tanks and before we cover it up from the front, we need to check the electricals with it, right? So let's get this mounted first. Oh, sorry, where's the connector? So we have a connector here. Okay, that goes in there. And voila, it's working. So let's just fix the speedometer. Nice and tight. Good. So, the next thing we are going to add is, so, now whatever lamps you mount, make sure you mount them separately first, because this bracket needs to go in first. Since the bolts are here deep within, once the lights are mounted, you will not have access to these bolts. So first thing first, we mount the bracket. Huh. So this is where your aux lamp mount goes directly to the chassis so the load is not shared by the handlebar at all so this is going to connect to the chassis after you have fixed those two bolts for the aux mount now you mount your aux lights it's a simple m6 hole just need to pin it position it before you finalize it now since everything is we have finally mounted everything now we mount the visor so like I said right out of the box you gotta install the visor to these mounts now it's up to you whether you want to use a stock headlamp or if you want to just use the aux lamps if you want to you, uh, see the stock headlamp this is where it mounts see this hole right here this is where it goes the aux uh, sorry the oem headlamp right Ooh. so now when you're mounting this since you have already mounted this since your hand cannot get through you got to take the m6 bolt Put it right there, lift it a little bit and place the nut from there. There we go. So this is the final bolt that goes in for your headlamp. And there you are. You're done with the installation of the expels. Ah, so this is where your aux lamp mount goes directly to the chassis so the load is not shared by the handlebar at all so this is going to connect to the chassis recording to chalu hone do ha chal ready after you have fixed those two bolts for the aux mount now you mount your aux lights this is a simple m6 hole just need to connect 
Position it before you finalize it. 